Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today I am gonna show you how to create a time freeze scene like this. This tutorial is actually pretty basic and not that fancy, however. Maybe you find some of the techniques helpful. So, let's start. Create a new composition. I want to make that shot about 12 seconds long. Just press N, then right click trim comp to work area. Let's bring in our first shot. Now look for a frame that you want to use. I think I want to freeze that frame. Now press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Get rid of the first part. Now right click on the layer, go to time and click, guess what? Freeze frame. By the way, you don't need to have green screen footage. You can use any kind of footage with every background. Because our frame is frozen, it's very easy to mask out the object you want to use. Lucky me! To get rid of my background it is way faster to key it. Alrighty. Make your layer 3D. Then create a new camera. Now let's rotate our shooter 180 degrees. This is not really necessary, but for my shot I want him to face the other direction. Now let's bring in our background. Make it 3D. Then push it back on the Z axis into Z space. Rescale it. Push it to the right. Rescale your freeze frame so it fits perfectly into your scene. But make sure not to move it in Z space. With the camera tool we can now move along our scene. Okay, let's bring in our next shooter. We gonna perform the same steps like we did before. Find the right frame. Then press Ctrl Shift D. Right click, time, freeze frame. We actually gonna repeat these steps very often for the rest of the tutorial. Okay, click the 3D box again. Position the shooter right where you want to have him. But let's push him back into Z space. Looks like he is kinda floating. But thoughts no problem. We gonna take care of that later. Okie dokie. Let's move on and bring in another soldier to the scene. To save some time I will speed up some parts. Okay, 3D again. Let's rotate him so he's facing our gas mask shooter. Find the right position. Let's bring him closer to the camera. Time for Soldier 3.
find the right position. But this time we don't gonna move him in the space. So he is in line with Mr. Gas Mask. This poor fella is gonna get shot. So let's rotate him a bit so it looks like he is gonna fall. Okay it's time for our final actor in this wild shootout. Let's bring him to the end of our scene. And feel free to adjust some elements in your shot from time to time. Okay, let's animate our camera. Bring up the transform settings. Make keyframes at the very beginning of your comp. Find a good starting point for your move. Then find a ending point. Then push the ending keyframes to the very end of your comp. Okay, there is our camera animation. Now let's begin with the fun part and bring in all kind of elements to sell this shot. I am gonna use the Action Essentials pack from Video Copilot. It contains everything we need. Let's start with a muzzle flash. We gonna proceed like we did before with our warfighters. Freeze the frame. Make it 3D and position it to the right place. Well, actually I think I don't like that muzzle flash. So let's replace it with another one. To replace it just click the layer you want to replace. Then click Alt and push the new element right on that layer. Now the new layer will appear in the very same position like the layer we didn't want to use. Okay let's speed up some parts again. I will put another muzzle flash to the gun where the shells will be dropped. Did I just say shells? Okay let's bring them in. You know what to do. Control Shift D. Right click time freeze frame bring the shell into the right position and fix the scale let's bring the shell a little bit closer to the camera so we can see a little bit of parallaxing when the camera moves let's bring in some more shells you know how to do it so let's speed things up to save some time okay let's bring in a bullet hole make it 3d Press P to bring up the position options. Press Ctrl C to copy the position of our soldier to the bullet hole by pressing Ctrl V. Now we need some blood. Bring the blood burst in and perform all the steps like we did in the entire tutorial before. Now let's make some speed compositing. You can put in every element you want. You know how to do it. So, let's begin.
now we can start to color correct our shot. In this case I would mainly use the tint effect by 50% and some curves adjustments. And the most important step to sell this shot is to apply a lens blur to all objects that we don't want to have in focus. We just want to have Mr. Gas Mask in focus and all the objects and soldiers who are standing in line with him. Okay, so far so good. I also brought in some lens flares. Now the final touch. Mark our layers and pre-compose them. Create an adjustment layer. I will put magic bullet looks on it to give our scene the final look. Wow, well. During recording that tutorial I just got bored by myself. So I had to speed up the end of it. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. If you want to learn more about compositing, color corrections and lens flares please check out my green screen compositing tutorial. Thank you very much for all your positive feedback. It's a good feeling to hear that my teaching is so appreciated. Even when my voice sucks so bad. Please make sure to rate and subscribe, thank you very much, see you soon.